Yup, nakita nyo naman yung ating intro for today. Ito yung ating continuation ng Vivo X70 review and magfo-focus tayo more on its cameras. Hey guys, so it's your Tagon Mary and welcome back to our channel. Alam ko yung iba dito nag-aantay pa rin ng ating camera review bago bumili ng bagong flagship device ng Vivo which is again their Vivo X70. Kaya naman, huwag na nating patagalin pa. Mag-proceed na tayo with our camera review. Quick history check muna tayo guys before we proceed. Kung maaalala nyo, I think 6 months pa lang ang nakalipas noong lumabas yung predecessor nitong Vivo X70 which is the Vivo X60. And if you will notice, uh, Vivo Philippines rarely release the whole series which is again the Pro version and the Pro Plus version. On my part, syempre ako nalulungkot ako dahil as much as possible, I want to try the best of their series which is of course the Pro Plus. But then I get it guys, I'm sure Vivo also wants to cater to everyone since hindi naman din lahat ng tao of course can afford a 50 to 60,000 peso smartphone. And actually, ito yung third in Vivo's gimbal series, guys. Kung maalala nyo, it first came out with Vivo X50, and then it came out with the Vivo X60 series, and pangatlo nga, itong Vivo X70 series. And not just that, yung Zeiss partnership nila, guys, ito naman ay pangalawa na. Actually, sa pagkakalam ko, it's a three-year partnership, so expect that the next Vivo X smartphone will also be a partnership with Zeiss. Actually, yung mga ganitong partnership, hindi naman na rin siya masyadong bago since we've been seeing this, of course, collaborations with other brands katulad ng Huawei with, of course, Leica, and of course, OnePlus and Hasselblad. So, what's new with the cameras of their Vivo X70 kung parehas lang naman ito doon sa partnership na ginawa nila again with Zeiss a few months back from the Vivo X60. It's actually more on the Zeiss T-Star coating. Actually, na not just the main camera yung may ganitong coating but all of the cameras. And surprisingly, akala ko guys, itong T-Star coating nga na sinasabi nila is only present doon sa Pro version which is the Pro Plus and the Pro One. Pero they did not compromise and included the regular Vivo X70. Ano naman itong sinasabi ni Vivo na T-Star coating? Actually, itong coating na to guys, it helps na mas ma-reduce yung ating glare or imaging artifacts or kaya naman ghost. Thing. Kung makikita nyo yung ating sample shots here between the OnePlus 9 na Hasselblad camera and of course the Vivo X70's Zeiss camera, makikita nyo yung glare na present dito sa car na hindi nyo makikita doon sa photo taken by Vivo's camera. Another photo sample between the iPhone 13 Pro and the Vivo X70. More photo samples na night between the Vivo X70 and the iPhone 13 Pro. Actually guys, kung mapapansin nyo, sobrang grabe yung difference between the iPhone 13 Pro and the Vivo X70. I know at some parts, maganda yung photos taken by the iPhone, but then if you will notice yung glare na binibigay sa atin ng iPhone, it's a bit annoying lalong-lalo na that considering yung price na binabayaran natin doon. So ngayon na alam nyo na yung T-Star coating na tinatawag, tignan na naman natin guys yung mga sample photos taken by the main camera in daylight ng Vivo X70. But before that, ano muna yung kanyang mga camera specs? The Vivo X70 has 40 megapixels of f1.9 aperture na main camera at 12 megapixels with f2.0 aperture telephoto camera with 2 times optical zoom and at 12 megapixels f2.2 aperture ultra wide camera. Again, all of these cameras has Zeiss T-Star lens coating. If you guys want to know kung paano nag-perform yung camera ng Vivo X70 in real life, ito yung ating mga sample photos. guys, yung colors ng Vivo is actually aesthetically pleasing. Mas sharper yung ating mga photos. Shots are also sharper if you zoom in and yung dynamic range niya is much better now. I know that the latest iPhone camera is still better at some areas katulad ng mga selfies and of course portrait images. But overall, Ang Vivo X70 guys can definitely go toe to toe with Apple's iPhone 13 and can hold on its own. Now, if we will go and check 
yung camera UI ng ating Vivo X70 since this is also important guys dahil pinag-uusapan natin ay cameras. Let's dig in and check if parehas pa rin ba siya or may mga nadagdag. Opening the camera app, of course, we still have your usual toggles like one times of course, two times and yung kanyang ultra-wide camera. Sa kanan nun, may makakita kayong filters. We still have your usual, of course, black and white filter, grapefruit, night breeze, macarons, and more. Aside from that, kung titignan natin yung ibabaw, dito natin ma-access yung kanyang super macro camera. And then sa kanan, meron siyang small menu na kung saan pwede natin i-access yung kanyang framing, countdown, frame, and settings. Let's go to the portrait camera. Dito guys, meron tayong iba't ibang uh, bagong styles. Katulad ng Biotar, Sonar, Planar, and Destagon. Actually, these are Zeiss branded portrait effects. Kaya kung makikita nyo guys dito sa ating camera, meron siyang mga Zeiss logo on top. Iba't ibang klase siya ng signature style of bokeh that uses a specific type of lens. All I can say is magaganda naman itong mga bagong styles that Vivo added. But to be honest, yung cutout niya from, of course, subject to background, medyo hindi siya perfect. Kung mapapansin nyo, if we will zoom in on some parts, hindi talaga sila even or let's just say maraming mga broken lines. Now, if we will go to the video menu, meron tayong option to actually take video guys using the super night mode. Yes, guys, even while taking videos, pwede na natin gamitin yung ganitong option. It's actually very helpful, no? Since it's my first time na makakita rin ng ganitong kind of setting sa isang camera menu. We also have the what we call standard stabilization. Katulad ng sinabi ko sa unang part ng ating video, meron ngang built-in gimbal itong Vivo X70. Again, a gimbal, guys, is a tool na parang tripod, pero ito ay ginagamit ng mga professionals for a smoother shots, of course, so while taking videos. So, itong gimbal na ito pinaliit at nilagay dito sa ating main camera ng Vivo X70. My experience is actually great. Kung gusto nyo makita yung ating mga video samples, I'll be sharing it with you now. huge fan talaga ako ng power na binibigay ng Vivo, especially on this collaboration with Zeiss. Although, syempre, medyo nalulungkat lang ako na medyo mabilis yung gap between the Vivo X60 and the Vivo X70, considering na yung iba, kabibili pa lang ng Vivo X60 kamakailan. Second, I really wish that Vivo will also release some of their flagship devices, katulad ng Vivo X70 Pro Plus. Based pa lang sa mga nababasa kong forums, and of course, review views, isa daw yon sa may pinakamagandang camera smartphone for this year 2021. As much as I wanted to try that device, hindi kaya since hindi naman siya na-launch here in the Philippines. Straight up, I think Vivo X70 is a great device. Lalong-lalo na if hindi pa naman din kayo nakakabili ng Vivo X60. It will be a great upgrade kung galing ka rin doon sa mga mid-range devices ng Vivo, which is of course their Vivo V series or kaya ng Vivo Y series. That's basically it. Again, it's your Tagamary and see you on our next video. Bye, guys!